I have seen several studies saying that um, the earlier you are exposed to that kind of material, sexual material, the more likely you are to experience sexual dysfunction yourself because your brain at that point, while really uh, at any point, can't really properly and healthily process pornography. But as you said, especially at a young age, when you're jolted from knowing and seeing nothing to knowing and seeing everything that there is, you just can't process it well. So it can lead not only to dysfunction, it can lead to promiscuity, it can lead to all kinds of self-esteem issues, it can lead to different kinds of sexual and gender confusion, it can lead to addiction, it can lead also to being more vulnerable to become prey of sexual exploitation. Unfortunately, I mean, just tragically, that is one tool that sexual yeah. exploiters and sexual abusers use to groom children is to introduce Absolutely. them to sexual concepts via pornography, images, videos, conversations, things like that. So it's just completely destructive for a child's mind. Yeah, well, the, the young brain isn't developed. The feeling brain is is developing long before the prefrontal cortex, the decision-making part of the brain. It's why we pay more for our kids, our teenagers, uh, driver's insurance, right? Because the prefrontal cortex regulates risk. It uh, regulates decision-making. And a child who's not been trained to understand pornography, and I highly recommend a book called Good Pictures, Bad Pictures to help your child turn away and look for pornography. But the young brain just isn't prepared to deal with something blindly like this. We just sort of assume a couple, there's a, four mistakes that I often see parents make. And one is my child is a good kid and they would just never look at pornography. It would never be of interest to them. They would never uh, want to see anything like that. But the truth is, every child is curious about what the opposite sex looks like. They're curious. They're naturally curious. And that's, that's okay. But with instruction from parents, we can teach them healthy uh, sexuality from a very young age. That they can learn to protect themselves, to know where their bathing suit area is, and why that's private, etc. Second... We think that if my child did see it, they just look away because they know what's right and wrong. Well, there's a lot of neurochemistry at play here and also an underdeveloped prefrontal cortex that it's very difficult for a child to look away. Number three, the measures I have in place are probably good enough. And typically what parents are doing is looking over a child's shoulder. But that's really not effective because we do the dishes, we mow the lawn, et cetera. We, uh, we just talked about earlier about how uh, two boys, uh, a mom handed her phone over the back seat on a road trip and uh, they her, handed it to her son so they could play a game. And her, the cousin who was sitting right next to him says, hey, do you want to look up this word? And the next thing they were doing, they went from, I've never seen pornography mm -hmm. to the very worst of the worst. Right. And finally, we worry that our boys are the only ones who struggle. And that's just not true. Our girls are being exposed to pornography as well. And it's having an impact on their brains too. And I think it's also not what maybe even you know, my age parents, I mean, I'm only 30. And so I've got younger kids. But even my age, maybe when we think of pornography, we think of, well, you've got to log on to a specific XXX website that shows you these kinds of things. But nowadays, it's so much more accessible. Maybe a parent feels safe handing their kid, their 13 year old kid, TikTok or Snapchat or Instagram, but there are forms of pornography and even violent pornography on these apps. And you see this, and oh, you yeah. see these young girls kind of creating content on TikTok, talking about violent things like being choked and having kinks, things that you should not be thinking about when you are a middle school girl. And yet, as you said, children are getting introduced to this earlier and earlier on apps that for some reason, a lot of parents think are safe and that they think don't qualify as technical pornography. Yeah. And, um, you know, children learn faster than adults, right? We know yeah. this is true. Uh, 
because they have more mirror neurons. That's one specific reason they can. And the mirror neurons make you feel when you see something like you're doing it. It's why you flinch when you see a baseball player get hit with a, with a ball or you see a runner cross the finish line, your heart races, right? And so it, uh, those mirror neurons help a child learn faster, but again, it is much more impactful to their brain because of that. And then separately, they also get a little hit of dopamine because dopamine is is uh, released when we see something novel, something new, something we've never seen before. Uh, it also focuses your attention so that other things disappear. Now we have to understand that God's design is beautiful. He designed sex for marriage and uh, all these neurochemicals are designed in God's plan. Mm -hmm. And pornography is not sex, it's a hijacking of what God created. And so when we think about dopamine firing off because of natural uh, curiosity, et cetera, it gives you a spritz of what feels good and then focuses your attention to the point of tunnel vision. And so when a child clicks on something like that, sees something like that, it's very hard for them to turn away. Yeah. And, and the more that happens over time, the deeper those neural uh, pathways develop. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.